Hi guys, welcome back to 4 Wheel Drivers Life. Today I'm fortunate enough to show you around my friend Chris Land Cruiser 200 series build up and his newly acquired Boreas Campers XT trailer. As most of you may already seen his Land Cruiser 200 series in my previous videos, and I know some of you specifically reached out to me acquiring detailed information about this Land Cruiser setup. And I'm also going to do a detailed walk around of his Barrios XT trailer. Barrios Campers is a manufacturing company located in Colorado. So this trailer will be American made and it is definitely built with off-road usage in mind. It has dual shock independent suspension on each wheels. It comes with 23-0 awnings and shower tents. And the cabin is made of composite and aluminum material. It has a dry weight of 2200 pounds and a ton weight about 200 pounds. The frame is made of 4x2x1 by by of an inch CNC cut steel and is zinc primed with powder coating to prevent rusting and corrosion. So without further ado, let's welcome Chris for this walk around. Oh yeah. Alright hey guys, this is Chris, owner of the Land Cruiser with the gold wrap <laughs> engine bay. Um, all right. Um, thank you for having us. Please uh, introduce your Land Cruiser. Uh, so this is a 2016 Land Cruiser. There's no trim for a Land Cruiser. It's just Land Cruiser. Mm -hmm. And uh, originally we were going to buy a brand new 4Runner, but we came across this and we looked at it and we fell in love. So we bought this during the height of the COVID pandemic. So we got it for a decent price. So. Awesome. Ran with it. All right, so why Toyota? That's my um, first question. Well, I I work for Toyota. I know their product, and I've always loved Land Cruisers. You know, they've been making 40 years of Land Cruisers, and they've always been such amazing vehicles for what I wanted to do with it: take it off road and go camping and things like that. So I had to stick with the brand. Nice, nice. So would you mind to do a little uh, introduction of your suspension tire setup and what you have here as a Okay, sure. Built Land um, Cruiser. It's currently on 35s, uh, Toyo MTs, and Icon Rebound Pros. So far, I've, I've really liked the way the Icon Rebound Pros have been. Um, they're not a replacement for a true beadlock, but I have not been able to bust the bead no matter how low of a tire pressure I go. But the only con is that there is a risk of the tire spinning on the rim, so your balance will be off. So, so far they've been great. I love them. Awesome. Um, suspension, I'm running King Shocks and Total Chaos upper control arms. Um, I had the valving done at um, from Filthy Motorsports out in Colorado. And I've done some KDSS stuff. I spaced out the sway bar, moved the links to the outside of the control arms. And then on the rear, I'm running uh, Old Man Emu. Old Man Emu springs and also Kings in the rear. And then I also have Firestone airbags in the springs. Just when we're pulling the trailer, we can right. adjust the height and things like that. Nice. But uh, the previous tire I ran were Mickey Thompson Baja Boss all terrains, and they were excellent for every condition, but I needed something more aggressive off road, and I think the Toyos have delivered it. But the only issue I have is that the the compound is so soft that I have issues with chunking, but uh, with the uh, Toyo. Yeah, but they're they're animals <laughs> off road. They're just unlimited right. amounts of grip. So, all right. Look at that uh, engine, bay. engine bay mods, dual battery. Got an ARB twin on SDHQ mount. Um, this is a Red Arc BC to DC. I have two solar panels wired in parallel up top. One's on top of my Pelican case, and one's on top of my Rhino rack. Uh, what else? Um, I also have a, a Bantam S-Pod to control all my lights and electronics and things like that underneath the hood. And we pretty much have the whole vehicle wrapped in um, 3M Scotchgard Pro to prevent any pinstriping. But the, the film itself has taken such a beating that you know it, we're going to need to replace it. And then on the inside, for comms, we're running a Midland MTX. Um, we got that Bantam Touch 
Phantom S Pod touchscreen. We also have a Red Arc brake controller underneath here. And there's also a gauge and a pump switch for my long range fuel tank. We're running a 40 gallon long range fuel tank, which is a huge game changer for road, road trips. Mm -hmm. Which is sitting right here, right? Yep. And it's taking pretty good shots off road, but all I do is I just respray it with bed liner and it's good to go for the most part. Unfortunately, man. Yeah, you can see my, my airbags, my Firestone airbags back there. Mm -hmm. I got a um, Iron Man panhard, adjustable panhard bar. Awesome. And then in the back, I'm running an RLC WeldFab dual swing out. Yeah. And then I had to relocate my trailer yeah, pin hitch because I kept uh, crushing it off road. So <laughs> I attached it right to my bumper. And I relocated my rear camera to help to aid with the uh, backing the trailer up. Oh, nice. the, the hitch. And then in the back we have air down gear up drawers. They're a really good company based out in Colorado. Air down gear up. Yep. And then it also has a slide out table that we can use. Do they make it for non land cruisers? Yes, they do. They make it for GX 460s, GX 470s, I believe. Gotcha. And 100 series of land cruisers. And then we have an ice core fridge on a slide out. Oh, is that the JL? Wait, VL? The VL 47 Pro? Nice. Yeah, so far it's been pretty good. How long have you had it for? Uh, about two years now. We bought it pretty early on, and that was a game changer for road trips, not having to deal with ice and things like that. Right. And then up here, so this is just an Amazon light that I found. It's, it's actually for Jeeps, but it worked out perfectly for this. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. And then to the front, I'm running an Iron Man, Iron Man bumper with mm -hmm. an Iron Man 12K winch. And then all of uh, steady lighting. Beautiful. And he also has a trailer, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. So the trailer is. The way my shot. The trailer is a Vaporius. Morius XT, a uh, company out in Colorado. It has a rear kitchen galley. Cabinets, fridge slide out. And then this is our sink, our Dometic two burner stove. The stove gets really hot, it's great. Um, everything's on a light switch, dimmable, things like that. And one of the big reasons why we went with this trailer is because it's off-road capable. I don't know if you want to get the suspension on there, but it's all independent in the rear. Dual shocks. Oh, nice. Yeah. On infamous KO2s. That's right. My favorite tire. Yeah. Dual shocks on each side. Yes. Wow. How much does it weigh? Um, the trailer itself weighs 2,200 pounds. I don't ever, I don't ever lay around. Um, and then we got ours optioned out with a 180 degree awning, and then a deployable shower awning, and then this is our instant hot water shower. Oh, nice. Game changer, game changer for camping, especially when you're camping remotely. Just having the ability to have hot water is, mm -hmm. it's a game changer. We got ours with a 20 pound tank. So if it does go empty, we can just exchange it at any Home Depot or whatever, things like that. And then the inside galley doors have these really cool windows where you can pick privacy or mosquito netting and it can open. And then these windows can tilt out. Wow. Close That's completely. awesome. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's ventilation. It's, it's amazing. If you want to pan inside, the, the galley inside is a full queen size bed. Dimmable lights, LED. I'm we assuming. Got a circuit breaker. <laughs> yeah, and we also have a Propex furnace in there. Propane powered heater. Uh, I hope so too. It gets really uh, hot. Like Max air fan up top. Tuesday through Saturday. Saturday, yeah. Awesome. Been, uh, yeah, it's been a solid. Uh, it's been a solid system so far. And then on the side we have. You know, but, um, floodlights, but the, I mean, it's all changeable. Oh, wow. Like that. Yeah. Touch screen almost. Yeah. Like. <laughs> In the front, we have a cargo carrier. We primarily use it for carrying wood to different campsites, but we try to keep wood 
Um, we try to buy wood in the area that we're camping because we don't want to you know, introduce any invasive species or anything like that. And then up here in the storage area, the top is complete pass through and the bottom is compartmentalized. And this is our Zero Breeze, which has actually been surprisingly working quite well. Um, it comes with a tube and there's a bulkhead connector that we just hook it up right here. Oh wow, so that's like an AC vent. Yeah, it's an AC inlet and um, we're probably going to use that for maybe a diesel heater, but I don't see the need, but we can try it out anyway. That's awesome. Yeah. Is that is that vent something that they offer for every trailer? Or? Yeah, they offer, it's an option, you can get it, this is considered their AC rough-in. Gotcha. But, yeah. And in the front we have a Cruiser Master. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, Cruiser Master them. DO35 hitch, which has been incredible. Um, it provides a lot of articulation off road. And it's got like a dual lock system. So once the trailer's hooked up, this this gets released and the cap snaps off. If the cap doesn't snap on, then the trailer's not ready. Nice. Yeah. And on the other side, we have Zamp solar controller and a dual AGM setup. Got a do battery on, on your trailer, huh? Yep. <laughs> it's yep. more battery than I have on my truck. Permanently mounted 100 watt solar panel up top. Okay. And then we have a plug in 100 watt SAMP panel. And we can plug right into the bulkhead connector. Oh, it's already here? Yep. Damn. So far, the ZAMP panels have been way more efficient than my Amazon ones yeah. on my truck. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shore power. 30 or 20? Uh, I think it's only 20 amp. 20. And then this is uh, our water inlet, so we can carry up to 30 gallons oh, in, this, wow. in this trailer. Where does the tank at? Like underneath? Yeah, it's tucked underneath with a skid plate. What's yeah. the tire size for this? It is 45, a... 75, 17. Yeah. Yep. And then we have a true awning true for, oh. up here with an attachable awning room, which we really love because the awning room can be, you know, it's got a floor that can yeah. zip in, it's got mosquito netting and things like does that. Does that room getting, does the spare tire, uh, spare tire getting in the way of the awning room? No, the way the awning comes out, it really doesn't. Because okay. You can zip in a wall. Uh, okay. The the it's a soft yeah. wall, right? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. That's why we. What about the fridge? Do you like uh, how do you like that? Oh, this fridge has been amazing compared to my Iceco. The Truma fridge has been incredible in terms of efficiency and the app that it comes with. The app suite is actually really nice. We can turn we can turn the fridge on and off and set the temperature and things like that. And obviously, it's a bigger fridge, but mm -hmm. but it's just overall like the quality of the Truma fridge has been exceptional. Yep. And that's about it. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It wasn't my choice. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about Chris Landcruiser 200 or the Barrios Camper trailer, please leave a comment below and hit the like button and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much and have a good one.